Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 8. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, we're on to our next event, which is going to be the Heavyweight Open, which is for cars weighing in over... 1,746 kilos. <laughs> I, I'm so tempted to make it your mum joke. We're taking the uh, Audi RS6 for this one. Uh, and we are going around Inland Taipan, Diamondback, and then Malayan Crate. Let's get started. Uh, restart race. Yes, please. We uh, had had a little bit of a malfunction. AKA, uh, my brain froze and I crashed. But uh, we're going to try this again. <laughs> And we're off. And that's why we picked the Audi. That launch will never get old. It's so quick. Bad. Oh. I don't know why, but German V8s sound more aggressive than American V8s, and I don't know why. They have a much nicer tone as well. American V8s are just too shouty and just... I think that's why I don't like it. I'm also 99% sure this is a V8. If it's not a V8, then I'm going to be extremely embarrassed. But like, why on earth would you have a car this heavy and it not have a V8 and it sound like that? Just doesn't make sense, does it? I breathe. I like how minimal traction control is actually necessary for this car as well. Because of the fact is one got extremely grippy tires. And two, it's four wheel drive. So pulling away is like, well... Traction controls are unnecessary. Because it's being pulled as well as pushed. This thing's got some weight to it though. Right, I'm also going to make sure to remember to save a replay this time. The last two episodes, I've forgotten to save replays to the point I've got to go back in. Luckily, though, the photo mode... You can just use photo mode in the pause menu, so... It literally takes seconds. It's definitely not as bad as if I forgot on Motorsport 1, that's for sure. Because you forget a thumbnail on Motorsport 1, you got to do an entire race. Oh, very close there. Oh, no. Absolutely demolished the front of my car. Cheers there.
Oh, that undersea was unreal there. Somehow we're managing to wrestle this Audi to get around these corners, though. Oh. Now I've cocked that up. We're definitely going to have a bit of a struggle trying to drive this car. I don't think I made a good choice with the Audi. But it's all we could afford, really. Mm, mm, mm. Unless we took like a Lotus Elise and slapped a... Well, I don't even know what we'd have to slap into that car to make it. Put another Lotus Elise inside of it. I think if we did that... Might have been able to take that car. Yeah, because the Lotus Elise is about 900 kilos. 950, something like that. So two of them is 1900. Yeah. That'd be heavy enough. Things have five gears. Actually, surprised by that. All right. Oh, bonk. Even the AI car's struggling. I mean, come on. You can't expect me to do well when the AI can't do it. 3,400. Not too bad. Race numero dos. MS DOS. Microsoft. Yeah. And we're off. I don't even know what my brain was thinking then. Yeah, so you definitely, um, compared to the last game, you can definitely apply more realistic driving measures to this, and cars will perform better. So, ah! Yeah, muscle memory. Not bad. Bum 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 bum. Joe, we should put some while she sleeps on. A really good band they are. Absolutely amazing. Not bad there. Hairpin corner coming up. Obviously, we have to... It's like a mandatory thing to cock up the hairpin corner. we go. Right, two more laps left to go. Oh! Mess up your braking zone. That's fine. Uh, one thing I have noticed is that damage is a lot more sensitive in this game. A lot more sensitive. So you really do have to be careful. But, so far, I haven't actually been able to damage my driveline, which is the one thing I always damaged in the other game. The driveline was so sensitive that, you, that one collision and... Your steering would skew it. Your engine would be fine. Your brakes would be fine. Your suspension would be fine. But your steering? Ah, it's fine. 
It's fucked. It's fucked, mate. But with this, it's a little more lenient towards the steering side of things. But it's definitely not lenient elsewhere. Because <laughs> the engine is already smoking. Well, I got a little trail. <laughs> me free. So free me if you want me. Not bad. Got it. Well, I've got it, lads. I've got it. I've got this under control. I don't even know what that was. That was bad even for my standards. And my standards are pretty low. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I've been having so much fun making this content. Uh, when we did the Motorsport 1 series, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Even though the game pissed me off to the max. I enjoyed making it, enjoyed editing the content, enjoyed streaming it. Um, and I'm really excited to do these next few games as well with everyone. On Twitch, on YouTube. So yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, not too bad. I'll take my money. All right, here we go. Final race with these uh, tanks. They're pretty much tanks. Now they're going to bed and my stomach is sick and it's all in my head. But she's touching his chest. Now he takes off the dress. Now... Let me go. This is, this is this is a top hit. There is no song better than Mr. Brightside. Taking control. Let's see how. Come on, come on, come on. Price I pay. Destiny is calling me. Open up my eager eyes. Cause I'm Mr. Brightside. Meow, 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 meow. Do I actually quite like this route? when it goes this direction. It seems a little more stable. Alright. Ferrari is just behind... Oh. oh, that's a good engine noise. That's a good engine noise. Is this mode step? It is. This is for the ones who care. If anyone knows Forza Horizon 1, this is one of the... I think this is a trailer song for Forza Horizon 1. But surprisingly, I didn't know about this song because of Forza Horizon. I actually knew this song before it was even featured in Horizon. Like, well before. 
Which is just how I know that Forza has a good taste in music, because I have a good taste in stuff. <laughs> uh. Someone raise the lights up. Light up the sky above. If you're with me now, show me a sign. Come on. Come on, Audi. You got this. Keep it together. I have a phone call. I will have to answer that in a second. I cannot write an owl though. Apologies. Someone raise the light up. Light up. Light up. Light up the sky above. Sky above. Sky above. I now have a deadline to finish this race. I've got to get to that phone call. If I do not, I will be in big trouble. Lights up the sky above, sky above, sky above. Lights up the sky above, sky above, sky above. Show me a sign. And there we go, across the line. Lovely. All gold for proving grounds. Let's go. 15 gamer score for yours truly. Oh yeah. And we got four grand, because we had to pay damage penalties. Charming. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. Not. Uh, we got a 2007 GT500, and we got some money. And we got a huge bonus as well for completing all of them. That's pretty cool. But not as cool as that. Wow. So this car would have been just come out when... Yeah, 2007. Not bad. Okay, here we go. We are taking part in the American Iron Runoff. Uh, we get the Gould Strand. If we come first. I have no clue what that means, but I know it's German. Probably. Uh, first race is around Laguna Seca, then New York Circuit, then Road Atlanta. Which I don't believe we've gone on any of these except New York. So, this is going to be pretty cool. Alright, so here, starting in first place, we've obviously added a couple of upgrades to our car to make it competitive, because I am not buying that thing. That thing is horrendous. That Stingray has given me PTSD multiple times, and it's still storming us. Oh! So I've made a choice to go and favour um, handling. It's paying off because you can tell in the corners we definitely have a lot more performance. But uh, yeah, no, that Stingray's catching up on the straights quite easily actually. Running and you're running, alright. So uh, when it comes to New York Circuit, we might actually have a little bit of a problem. 
You keep running and you're running and you're running and you're running all right, all right, all right, boy. You keep running and you're running and you're running and you're running away. Not bad. Okay, we can absolutely floor it through the corkscrew. Once we get past that first section. Once the car starts pointing downhill, we can absolutely floor it. And that's key to getting around the corkscrew really fast. If you can't floor it, that means you haven't got enough grip. So we clearly have enough grip to be able to floor it. Which is good. Because that car behind can't floor it. Not bad. Oh, look. Pandy is typing. Yeah, this thing is actually quite enjoyable to drive. But I ca genuinely cannot imagine how bloody slow this would have been without the upgrades. We would have been struggling big time. Uh, I will do in just a moment. Meow, 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 meow. Bum 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 Sony to reveal new PS5 Pro controller. What? What's that going to look like? Oh, I am going to have to look at that news article. It's probably fake, but... Be interesting. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, that's not how you take that corner, Meg. Just a slight hint. That's not how you take that corner. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, lovely engine noise. And across the line. Woohoo! Right, I'm going to save that replay because I think I'm actually going to use this one as a thumbnail image. I think I prefer this car. 6,100, not too bad. Got some clutch upgrade discounts as well. All right, here we go. Next race. Woo! -hoo! Yeah, this is going to be a bit more challenging because that car there has a lot more power. 
Even this one coming up on the inside now has more power than us. And I've even put a improved supercharger and stuff like that in this, so... This would have had even less power. But it's this next section where we're going to make that time. And if we don't, well, bugger. But yeah, look at that. Look how much later we can go into that corner. Do you know what the atmosphere of this race actually has, though? Because of it being in, like, an American country, it's got that sort of slightly yellow hint to it. Um, we're in a muscle car. This feels a lot like drive to San Francisco at the moment. This looks very much identical. Which actually, when you think about it, drive to San Francisco came out afterwards, so technically it would have... Anyways, it does look fairly identical. And what the hell? What the f... Ah, oh, that's actually fucked me over. What the hell was I witnessing? Unbelievable. We should still be able to get this, though, because the power of the engine isn't super diminished at the moment. We're obviously losing time, but... Come on, not that dramatically. See? But the only problem is, I can't tell where the car behind is. Yeah, this is going to be a challenge. But that car in front has managed to figure out how the fuck to get around a barrier. I cannot believe that. <laughs> Bing. Not bad, not bad. Don't forget to uh, share the content out. I greatly appreciate the support. If you want to help the channel grow, if you want to see the channel grow, feel free to do any means of supporting, whether that be sharing, uh, subbing, following, joining, super thanking, whatever. Whatever is applicable to you, whatever floats your boat, every bit of support is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be okay. Honey, you're gonna finish your extra creamy whipped cream and you're gonna fucking like it. Alright, I think we got that. Right, car behind is slowly gaining, but not enough. We're gonna get the finish line, we're gonna get our rewards. Crushing victory. What does that even mean? Awarded to any driver who finishes a race with a lapped opponent. Oh, yeah, because we lapped that guy at the back. Because he had 
absolutely <laughs> buggered up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Road Atlanta. Uh, yeah, so by the end of 2023, every smart device, every... Um, what's it called? Every smart device, every camera, every phone um, pretty much has to charge via USB Type-C. USB Type-C is not bad. It is a lot better than the lightning port. USB Type-C has a much, like, a much larger bandwidth for data transfer. It's got a much larger bandwidth. In terms of power delivery, has a much larger amount. It's a much better port. And the fact that Apple is finally going to be forced to use it is amazing. Plus, it also means that when it comes to... Um, what's it called? lot easier to break. It is not easier to break than a lightning port. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> USB Type-C is one of the strongest ports out there. It's why the MacBook was charged with it. It is not easier to break. If you've managed to break one and not managed to break a lightning port, you've got some superpowers because it is, it is a lot less easy to break. No, but um, it's going to be good because it means that whenever it comes to charging a device, uh, it's good for e-waste because people won't have to have multiple different chargers and when one charger breaks, oh, I've got to, you know, get a new one immediately afterwards. Now it just means, oh, your, your charge is broken. Well, your Samsung phone that you just bought came with another one. Use that. It, it won't mean that we'll end up having to buy multiple extra cables. <laughs> I think what you're getting mixed up is USB type uh, micro USB and USB type C mixed up. Because micro USB broke a lot. Micro USB was crap, I will admit. USB Type C, on the other hand, is something completely different. It's super strong. But, like, even if that is a valid point, which it isn't, because it's not true, um, there are so many po other positives that USB Type-C has over lightning ports, like power delivery. You can send so much more power over a USB Type-C cable. I think we're up to, like, 140 watts you can send down a USB Type-C cable. A lightning port can only do, like, I think it's 30 at the most. Something like that. I'm going to take my baby to the ocean. I'm going to take my baby down. Whoa. I'm going to take my baby to the ocean. Whoa. I'm going to take my baby to the ocean. I'm going to take my baby down. Whoa. I'm going to take my baby to the ocean. But yeah, better data transfer. More pins as well. USB Type-C has more pins, which means it will, um, you know, have, it, it's just got more bandwidth. More bandwidth is always good. And let's be honest, Apple 
someone who's like, oh, we're going to innovate so much in the industry. And their point for not using USB Type-C is because it, you know, goes against innovation. Hasn't updated micro USB since 2012. <laughs> it's such an old thing now. Oh, bloody hell. See, that's the gold one. The gold strand. This is the one that... But this is for Motorsport 2, not Motorsport 1. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.